Hi, I'm Heimbach. In this video, I will talk a bit about circuit band instruments and especially the Bontempi AT606. Now, what exactly is circuit banding? For this, I'm handing you over to the expert, Simon the Magpie. Hi, I'm the Magpie. And I want to talk to you a little bit about what circuit bending is. Circuit bending is exactly what it sounds like. You take a circuit from a piece of electronic from on the inside, preferably, probably an audio equipment electronic or something that makes audio, but you can circuit bend video as well. And then you literally bend it to the point where components start to mess with the audio that's going on. And I mean, if you can get the point, no, but seriously, what you do is you take a piece of electronic and then you see all those little tiny things that are on it. That's called components. What you want to do is you want to find new signals to go from what's already existing in the, the circuitry. And that can either emphasize new sound opportunities. Yeah, yeah. So what can happen is you can either create completely new sounds that were not in the piece So what this can do is it can create completely Maybe lower the pitch of samples inside of the audio equipment or you f with the tempo of what, what's, what's going on and the sample resolution is that. But you can also find and create completely new nonsense inside that just makes a f load of noise and just turns it into something that was very much not intended to be made yeah, or used like that. But you, you can actually, you, you can do good stuff too. I don't even, what was the question? Thank you, Simon. I have a few circuit bed instruments. For example, from error instruments, this crazy little weird keyboard from Bogus Noise, who modified this drum machine for me. And of course, the Folktech Omnicord, which started my whole I'm talking on YouTube career, if you want to call it that. I commissioned Joris Biesmans, a Belgian musician who's now living in Berlin, to bend the AT606 for me because I saw videos of people playing it in epic drone style. And what I got from him was something entirely different, but even much more fun. Even without bending, this keyboard is a complete oddball. When you turn it on, you get System 5 and the classic Fairchild orchestra hit. When you turn it off, ciao. it says ciao, because it is an Italian machine. When you select a sound using this keypad, for example, I'm gonna choose trumpet, it plays a little phrase for you. Smoke on the water, almost. They're skirting by copyright issues all the time. Try synth strings. <laughs> Sorry, this thing cracks me up. Bells. That sounds like my old school bell. Let's go to space. And now to the harp. I mean, you could sample all of these already and have fun with those. Um, but of course, this thing has rhythms also. Now, first, what you have to do is select like the easy chord program. So these will act as chord players. And then you can select your rhythm. I'm going to choose an old 80s classic, the Lambada. If you don't know that, ask your parents. Fantastic, but let's make this even more fantastic. Okay. 
and now the Lombardo sounds utterly brilliant. These bend points, I have no real idea how they are set up and what they do. They are switchable and I found some that work, but how they work changes with every preset. So for every preset, it's always about trying out new connections and new stuff. This can be a rather time consuming process because if you patch it wrong, you are in a nice groove, the other chords. It will have a complete meltdown. Before it goes back to playing the original groove. And this will happen anytime you patch your own connections. And I think it's about you get like two to three working connections per patch. And through the process of trial and error, you'll be listening to that sound a lot, a lot, and a lot. Which is why I can work like for an hour on this trying to find new sounds, and then I'm done. This punishing process bears great results. There are many beautiful phrases in here that I love to use as loops, as basis for new songs, or put onto tape loops. Here are some examples. Now, of course, you can also still play this as a regular keyboard and use the mods for that. For example, now I'm selecting Space 2. This knob is an overdrive. And now I can patch different variations. So you can get some sweet keyboard tones out of this also. But I prefer using this as an idea generator. Half an hour spent with this will give me enough ideas to write three or four songs. If you want to buy one of these, go only for the AT606. All the other models are not moddable because there are not enough contact points to do something. If you're interested in the sounds and loops of this video, I've made a sample pack that I'm making available on Patreon. I've recorded this lo-fi machine in the nicest way possible, using an A-Designs preamp, Buckbrand compressor and a Telefunken M15 quarter inch tape machine driven really hot. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I've got a bunch of tour dates coming up, so if you're in Düsseldorf, Berlin or Hamburg, I'd love to see you there. Dates are in the description. Bye, see you in the next one.